Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. After testing and reviewing all of the robot vacuums that Roborock has released so far, I think it's time for me to do a big comparison video showing the differences with their various models, as well as choosing my favorite Roborock models in three different categories. A few quick notes before we get started. I won't be including the Roborock Shawa Light C10, which I think was discontinued, but I will be including the S6 Pure in this comparison. Although it won't be released until later this year, I did get a chance to see one at CES, and I have the basic specs on the S6 Pure for comparison with the others. And in case you're wondering, the S6 Pure is basically going to be a lot like the S6, but some tweaks were made in order to offer it at a cheaper price. Finally, I wanted to mention that while Roborock has sent me a few of these robots for free in the past to do reviews, two of the three winners actually ended up being the Roborock models I purchased for myself, so as always, you can be reasonably confident my picks are my honest opinions. So, links in the description, and let's get started. Taking a look at the specs, and these will be lined up from least to most expensive in case you're wondering. The most basic difference between the cheaper and more expensive Roborocks is that the S5 through the S6 all use LiDAR, which is a spinning invisible laser that maps out your house. The cheaper, so-called Shawas like the E25 and E35, use an optical motion tracking sensor and gyroscopes to accomplish a very similar thing as the more expensive ones, namely that they too also clean in more or less straight lines and room by room, which is still better than most of the random navigation bots that you typically see with budget robot vacuums. The main difference between the Shawa navigation and the LiDAR navigation on the S5, S4, and S6 versions is that the LiDAR is more accurate because the laser can bounce off of or quote unquote see the obstacles in front of it and build a much better map. This better map also allows the more expensive LiDAR bots to have way more options in the app like no-go lines and some other things that we'll talk about later. Related to navigation, the main brain the processors in the new generation of Roborocks, like the S4, the S5 Max, the S6 Pure, and the S6, are bigger than the previous generation, which among other things makes them about 20% more efficient with their navigation, and it also saves battery life. I should mention that though the older generation, the S5, doesn't have this new chip, it's no slouch when it comes to navigation in terms of efficiency or in terms of its coverage, both of which it's really good at. In fact, other than the newer LiDAR bots, there aren't many robot vacuums on the market that can can compare with the older S5 in terms of navigation. In other words, with the new generation, Roborock just made something that was already really good about 20% better. In terms of cleaning ability, the Roborock family is surprisingly similar across the board. They all have the same basic construction underneath, but they're all well above average at picking up debris off of the surface of hard floors and carpets. The differences are that the older and newer generation use different brushes. The new side brushes are intended to last longer and the new brush rolls have more bristles and are intended to be better at resisting hair tangles. Honestly, I haven't noticed much of a difference with the recent brush changes, but they all are interchangeable, so if you wanted to, you could buy whatever style you wanted separately and replace it if it was a concern. Another difference which can affect cleaning performance is suction and airflow power. Most of the Roborock family has the same stated suction power of 2,000 pascals of suction, except for the E25, which only has 1,800. That number just means that their motor's max potential is 2,000 pascals, but various factors in the design or programming can make a difference, and I have noticed minor differences in power levels in our various airflow and suction tests, with the most powerful being the S4 and the S5 Max. Those small variances tended to prove themselves in other tests like the crevice pickup test and the carpet deep clean test, where all the Roborocks did above average and are very similar to one another, except for the S6. The S6 was the first Roborock to be released with all the these new next generation features, and I'm not sure if there were some software tweaks to decrease the power to get more battery life, but the point is, it's the only one that was slightly below average in my various power tests. One of the things that make the more expensive Roborocks really good buys is that they have a very good app with some useful features like no-go lines, where you draw lines or boxes on the map to keep the robot from going where you don't want it to go. In our various tests, we found the no-go lines to be extremely accurate, and it's something that I highly recommend recommend taking full advantage of in your home, and even the older S5 has this feature. Only the E25 and E35 do not. The new generation has app features like Room Select, where after 
after it creates a map of your home, you can divide the map and name the rooms. This is important because it gives you a whole lot of flexibility as far as scheduling. You can tell the robot to clean certain rooms and not others on different days at certain times and on different power levels. The new generation of mopping bots also have no mop zones. The S5 Max even has the ability to control water flow in the app. I've also heard that multi-floor mapping for multi-story homes is also in the works to be released as an app update later this year, but no official word on when that will be. Many Roborock robot vacuums can also be converted to a mop by attaching a little tank with a washable mopping pad attached. The water then slowly saturates that pad and it can dry vacuum as it mops too. Basically everyone listed here except for the S4 has a mop option, but the S5 Max has a mop upgrade, namely that they added an onboard water tank which can hold a lot more water, though the pad system still attaches in the same basic way. This new mop tank is also electric instead of just gravity powered, so you can actually choose the water level you want in the app, and overall it's a marginally better mop in terms of performance than the others. Most Roborocks have about 150 minutes of battery life in low power mode, except for the E25 which only has 100, and the S6 which has 180. Though as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure that the S6 has the same physical battery size as the others, it was just programmed differently in terms of its power usage. In any case, the point is that these 150 minute plus numbers are really good, like it's rare to see robot vacuums get any more battery life than that. All of them have a feature called recharge and resume, where if power runs low during a big cleaning, it will stop and go back to recharge and then continue where it left off. With dustbin size, the older S5 and the S6 have a smaller 480 milliliter dustbin, where all the others have fairly large 640 milliliter bins. I've done a lot of noise level testing with these, and I found them all to be pretty quiet, especially in their low power or quiet mode, but even on max power, they all hover around 70 decibels, which is slightly better than average for robot vacuums at that power level. So which of these do I recommend? In the first category that is best overall, I would say that the S5 Max is my pick. It has everything that makes Roborox great, as well as the new mop system with all the new generation app features. I really feel like they got everything right with the S5 Max, and it's still cheaper than the S6. The best value though is probably the S4. It consistently was the most powerful of the ones we tested, probably because of the way it's been and exhaust were constructed which didn't have to make room for the mop. Whatever the reason, if you don't care about having the mop attachment, I would go with the S4 for sure. Finally, the older, the classic S5 wins the if it's on sale category. Since it's an older model, Roborock will occasionally really drop the price on these and honestly it's still one of the better robot vacuums out there. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.